We've got Noel on the line. All right, Noel. All right, Ross. How's it going, mate? Sensational. <laughs> really? What, you're in IV for still? I'm still out here, yeah, man. Have you been listening to the show today? Um, no. Unfortunately, I've managed to catch a bit of it, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, unfortunately? It's going well. No, no, it's that, uh, what's, his, what's his face is uh, Sonic, uh, what does he call it? Trevor, Trevor <laughs> is Sonic Enigma. That was, I got it, but it was rubbish, but I got it. Did you? It was rubbish, yeah. you're right, no, it was really yeah, rubbish. Yeah, it was appalling. What was the squeaky voice at the beginning? Were you trying to be a woman or something? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was just, I, I was being really ill. I had a temperature and I if came in. If only he was... only tried to be a woman when he was doing those competitions. He lives his life essentially as one. Really? Scuttling about in a frock. Yeah. Did you hear that bit where he was trying to chat up them girls? Like these, these, um, these women, the, what are they called? The Panini sisters. Poopini no, sisters. No, no, no. What's that? Oh, Trevor wants to, Trevor fancies these girls and he's trying to I get don't. us to bring them into the studio. Have you not got, have you not got a missus, Trevor? I do. And they b- abuse well, What's she going to think about it? <laughs> yeah, oh, think God, about don't, it. Don't Trip. get into this. She lives in another country now. Look. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, she does. Been driven away by him, of course. <laughs> we were like, we're going to next week, right? No, we're going to do a challenge for Trevor. Like, right. Trevor's got to do a challenge. Some people have suggested. This is listen to some of these suggestions for Trevor's challenge. I think Trevor Locke should have his navel piercing renewed, and he should wear hipsters and a skimpy t-shirt <laughs> with a picture of a hamster. That's Brendan from Weybridge. That'd be a good challenge for Trevor, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be brilliant. I, um, I, think, I think you should try and be funny. Try and be funny. Could you think you could do that, Trev, ever? Oh, in a million very much, years? No, thanks a lot for that, mate. <laughs> Another suggestion. Russ, get someone to wax Trevor's chest or back on hair. That, on oh, air. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Hair, maybe. Yeah. That'd be all right. That's from Dale. You could make Trevor refer to the Panini sisters with a different wrong name each time he talks to them on the show next week. Might be cruel on them, though. That's Ben from are they, are, are the Panini sisters famous? Are they like the... Like the Nolan sisters or something. They, they, they want to be famous. They're, they're an up and coming new band and they do uh, sort of classic songs in an old style 40s jazz singing way. They're going to be sounds, huge. That sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's describing them. That's, Wait till you hear them. That, that, that sounds something like akin to Simply Red on Acid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a party I'd like to go to, particularly if he had a bad one. That'd be amusing. <laughs> could push him over the edge. Uh, make Trevor dress like the midget from Fantasy Island and make him speak all squeaky like he used to for the duration of the show. That would be good. Add oh, what, what was his name? What was that, what was that, what was that, that character's odd name? Odd Job. Tattoo. Tattoo, odd he was called. Not Odd Job. Who's Odd, odd Job? Odd Job was in James Bond. So James Bond, Matt, you nah, poor confused soul. He had a funny hat that could cut things. Here's nah, a good suggestion know. from Luke. Russell, you're so, you know how you can get basically any girl you like at the moment. Oh. Well, you, Luke, because you're so damn popular and classy-like. Well, set up a date with a stanner, then send Trevor along, claiming that you're busy and that he's your replacement. Record some of it and put it on the show. It'll be all right. Could do that, couldn't we? We should do all these things. It should be a regular thing. They're all brilliant. We'll keep these and we're going to try and do all of them. <laughs> no, you ain't seen... Uh, because you're in a beefy, you won't have seen the people today and perhaps because you don't read trash newspapers. No, well, I see, I see that. Uh... I've seen The Mirror in the week, though. Or was it yesterday, was it? Yeah, my dad done an interview with The Mirror. What did you think of that, then? I, uh, I, like, I like the bit where, <laughs> where he, because you kick drugs, he referred to you as being strong like lion. <laughs> really? I am strong like lion. Like lion. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, there are many smackhead lions. Have you met any? Not really. I think I'd ruin a lion's career. I think maybe the cowardly lion out of The Wizard of Oz had a, had a problem with some sort of amphetamine. <laughs> Well, Clarence, the cross-eyed lion in Duck Tower, he looked like it was on drugs, didn't it? Yeah, so, I mean, there is a history of lions and narcotic abuse that, that, that my dad's tapped into there. Um, today's story's good as well. It's about, like, me... Um, it's mostly about me begging for threesomes with ch- cheap street prostitutes. I specified not, cheap street prostitutes. Not, not again. Yeah, that's <laughs> getting boring, isn't it? <laughs> I've not done that, though. It's not Are true. Are you sure you're not putting these stories in yourself, though? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. Because, uh, because uh, although although it must be embarrassing for your parents and all that, and but it's, it actually kind of makes you sound quite cool, doesn't it? Do you think so? Well, not the cheap quite, street. Well, quite to a, I reckon to like to a twenty-five year old, you must think... be like some twenty-five year old virile young man's god. I would have thought, isn't it? No, I suppose so. All right, well let's look at it like that. Are but you look... sure you're not doing it yourself? Yeah, I'm not doing it. Right, it goes here. It says like uh, there. Um, it says here. Um, like it says, Russell will be. You're wearing best... your cape, by the way, when all this is going on. Huh? You wearing your cape? Yeah, I haven't got a cape. That's another well, thing. Well, your dad rings. You got a cape, honey? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that says that in that article yesterday your in the dad Mirror. Says you got a cape. I sweep back to, to my mum's house in Essex wearing a cape. <laughs> 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 I go back there like a vampire. Why did he say well, that? I, but, so you don't. I, mean, I saw what it all to be true, though. 
Yeah, all right, I'll get a cape. You know, I can live up to that, Noel. Where's my cape? <laughs> Fetch my cape and my cane and my top hat. I'm going out into the night. Saddle oh. the horses. Slightly more embarrassing. You have a stylist as well, I believe. Oh, That yeah. is embarrassing. Well done, embarrassing Noel. Well that. done for saying she's that. She's Sharon. She's my mate. I've been mates with her for seven years. I think it's the last... Once you, once, you, once you refuse to dress yourself, exactly. it's the end, man, before Absolutely. it's even begun. It's the ben end. Ben Knowles had some close balls. Come on, him. Noel. Never. You've had styling. Is that is that what's his name or is that Matt? That's yeah. Matt kicking off. Uh, well, you definitely haven't got a stylist because I've seen you anyway. But that's a fact. But yes. Russell should, that's I'm, I'm, cool. I'm kind of disappointed that, that that Russ doesn't get out of bed looking like that. Man. Well, I, you know the things that go on in my bed. It's a miracle I get out of it at all. No, for, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I think I should be applauded. Listen to some of the things that it says in Cassie Sumner's story. Who I thought was quite a nice girl. Went out of her for a while. Met her parents. No, it's right? not. It's not that girl that was with you that night. We was out, was it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, she sold her story yet. No. Read about her next week. Uh, she she said, right, yeah. It says, asked, right, so these are some of the things that Cassie says. Uh, asked her to punish me for being a naughty boy. I've never asked people to punish me for being a naughty boy. I enjoy getting away with it. Enjoy squeezing into her skimpy panties. Don't do that. What's this thing where you dress up as a geeky boy? Oh, right, I did do that. It says uh, <laughs> dressed up as a geeky boy for the, for the act of love, right? Because I'll do a character, you know, where I'll talk like that, called <sighs> Warren. I used to do puppet shows with dead animals, and like, I, I did do that. I did dress in a, in a sexual situation? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's fine, that's fine. It's all fine. Done and what's that. this, would do funny dances in front of her? Right, now that funny dance, because it says here that I was always begging her for... Uh, look, it says that she would also... Russell would always ask her to participate in group sex, but she always says no. She never. We once had a threesome. Nice it was, right? What happened was those, <laughs> right? We had this threesome, but it's embarrassing if you're in a threesome situation because if you're the fella, you have to embarrass yourself hang on, a little hang on, bit. Hang on, you've got family so much might listen. Huh? Was it two? Was it two chicks or was it you and was it you and you and Lock? N- no, no, me and Cocky Locky. No. You, you couldn't have Trevor Lock in a threesome situation. No, no, no. Parping and grabbing his way through life. It'd be awfully embarrassing. Now, it's me, uh, Cassie, and some other girl, right? And right. Uh, what, like, at the beginning bit, I had to do some erotic dancing to set the mood, and I put on Michael Jackson. You, you, you had to? Well, I, I didn't. It was a, there, was a, there was an atmosphere there, because everyone was, I suppose, the anticipation of there being a threesome. I don't know if you've ever been in threesome, so sometimes <laughs> a funny atmosphere. Come on, Noel, you're a rock and roll star. Don't muck about. Uh, right? so, so, no, it's, it's I've a, never been involved in a threesome. I've come got on. No, no, you, no, no, you and no, your no, kid. With his stylist and his hairdresser. The right. pair of them. Well, anyway. Yeah, I, me, well, I have got two brothers, but I think that's frowned upon, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, Liam, and Paul should be lining up, the pair of you. Where, where, where have you heard that? <laughs> no, no, that, that, no one's making any claims in that area but I'm just saying at the beginning of it like you know to make sure that it was a nice accent there's nothing wrong with doing stuff like that if you're single it's a right laugh but anyway uh, at the beginning I had to do some erotic dancing I go shall I do some erotic dancing to break the ice and they were, and it was sort of a joke because I don't like dancing I find it dead embarrassing it makes me shy except on the radio show I quite like it I like, so uh, I put um, I put on Michael Jackson rock with you and I had to do erotic dancing and they wouldn't let me do it laughing like every time I started laughing I was no you've got to do it all dead serious and that it's embarrassing not to do serious you erotic dancing. You sound like a victim in this situation. I was, Matthew. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't yeah, yeah. When, 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 when was this supposed to have taken place? Is this while you were on drugs, or this is that? Is this, is this like kind of recently? Now you're on mineral water and Weetabix. <laughs> <laughs> I was high on Weetabix. Okay. It was like is, it about... rec- is it recently, or was it when, it, when, it, when you were doing when you were with a glue sniffer or whatever it was you used to do? Um, I was a couple. There's a few. I think that I was just coming out from beneath the uh, drug brella, or I might still have been on drugs. So you're right, all right. So you were still vulnerable to a bit of the old. I was uh, well, very whatever. vulnerable, Noel. And my way of dealing with that vulnerability was the occasional threesome. Well, I'm so sorry as a single man I'd threesome. <laughs> the other thing that it goes on about in here is me like, like throwing a tantrum because she bought the wrong cat food. Ridiculous. Yeah, but, yeah, but didn't, wasn't there one last week where you were stamping your feet as well? Yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of becoming a regular thing though, isn't it? Yeah, that's that. Yeah, stamping my feet and saying, "What's wrong with you?" Yeah, I'm bashing my cane. <laughs> yeah, well, that could be a not, euphemism but... for something else, though, couldn't it? <laughs> it could easily be bashing a cane. So we should stay well clear of. Although we are just quite casually talking about threesomes now on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon. But like, you know, I, don't, I think if you're a child and you listen to that, you just wouldn't know what it all meant, and you wouldn't be bothered. Who cares yeah. anyway? We're all alive, well, ain't we, Noel? What? But what is the truth, though? Well, the truth is, I went out for a while. She was a de- she was a dead nice girl. Seemed to like I weren't I weren't very well at the time. I think we had a, a lovely nice time. And now apparently it's a friend that sold this story. Oh, so it's the other girl, is it? I can't be because the, the, is it, I think it's her. Yeah, it could be number three in the threesome, couldn't it? Could, could yeah. be the third one. Nice as I remember. I thought the whole business was rather good fun. Hey, look, did you did you enjoy yourself? 
I had a lovely time, and it was. Well, that's all. That's all that matters, anyway, isn't it? Well, it's just, not really. Did she, they enjoy themselves? They enjoyed themselves. I enjoyed yeah. myself. I'm getting pleased. They're getting pleased. She's made a few quid out of it, selling the story. There you go. You will kill to the kids. Everyone's a winner. Everyone's Absolutely. a winner. Who's been hurt in Woo-hoo. this? <laughs> it's a lovely story. Okay, Noel, so, uh, yeah, have you got anything to... Oh, yeah, we're talking about festival stories and challenges for Trevor Locke. Do, uh, do you have any festival <laughs> stories or World Cup stories, stories or uh, a yeah. challenge for Trevor Locke? Funny things that have happened to you during World Cup. Like, for example, I remember in 86, the next day at school, Jamie Dawkins goes, uh, oh, that, the, um, the match against Argentina has been replayed because uh, it's been conclusively proven that Maradona uh, handled the ball. And, like, and I sort of believed him because he, Jamie Dawkins was really hard. He was harder than the kids in the year above us, even though, you know, he was, like, it was, this is at sort of primary school. And uh, it was obviously, it was a lie. The match was not replayed. And, you know, <laughs> I, I, haven't I, got, I haven't got any World Cup stories, but um, festi- I, I, I never went to any festivals until, obviously, I started playing them. Ooh, well, but I, I, I kind of got vague memories of Glastonbury in 94 being led to the stage by somebody from the Glastonbury organisation to take me to, to play on one of the stages, and I was trying to convince her that I'd played the day before because I was a little bit fryer tucked <laughs> Were you? You're a bit yeah. fried. Oh, we done it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I, was, I thought I played the day before because I was a little bit inebriated. You but genuinely believed I mean, you'd already done that, it. The other stories are, you know, being idolised by 110,000 people a night. But you don't want to know that, do you? No, I don't think <laughs> any of us are interested anymore of your arrogant you boast. You can't really top that headline in them, can you? You can't really. How can you top yeah. that? Good. Yeah. Exciting to be an oasis. All right, hey? should, we, should we play some music then? Let's play the Pixies, shall we, everyone? Uh, Come on, you're done. You like the Pixies, no? Yeah, I like uh, this monkey's gone eleven. But apart from that, a uh, bit rubbish. Well, Absolutely, playing, well done, though. Well what? said. I love the Pixies. This, this you next one's good. What? Yeah, but you look like you love the Pixies. Yeah, Matt does. He does. Hey, well, what's like this that? about? What I look like? He's a, that's yeah. just two dicks. Pixie he's had. lover. It's good. Let's have a little dig at Matt. He sits there all gloated, <laughs> stinking of booze from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you Some love actual bird. pictures. Well, the uh, Irish well, ones. from what I can remember, Matt takes the, the casual look to its extreme. He does. He takes it almost to some true. giddy hobo entity. There you go. He doesn't look like he's even got an house. You should see Russell today, Noel. He looks a right tramp. I am dressed down a little bit. We've all been under a lot of pressure this weekend. We've had a lot of work on. Ah, uh, yeah, but who dressed you down? Was it Sally? All <laughs> 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 right, yeah, let's attack me. Attack old Russ. Just the, the crime of being different. Hey, yeah, it was no- your birthday this week, wasn't it, by the way? Uh, yeah, it was. How old is you? 31. 31? Yeah. Wow, well done. Thank you, I've not died, I'm still alive. Oh, well <laughs> done, you're there, you're there, man. Anyway, happy birthday. I don't know how I know that, I must have read that somewhere. Thank you very much, I'm glad you read that instead of the filth and lies. Well, that's... it was my it was my birthday last mon- Monday. No, was it? Monday, last Monday or the Monday before. Oh, we're both Gemini's then, does that mean? That means we are both Gemini. Happy birthday. Happy thank birthday. You very, thank you oh, very you much. This is great radio, radio. this did really you, is. Did you, get, did you get anything exciting for your birthday? Not really. Yeah, read my column in the Guardian, Noel, about uh, like World Cups and that in Guardian Sport from yesterday. It's ever so funny. Really, I don't get the Guardian out here, obviously, do I? Don't you? You can just get. Oh, you can just read. They about don't sell. They don't sell that. posh papers out here. They only sell the rubbish ones. Also, I need to talk to you about that charity gig that you've got that you've got to do that you've promised to do for them junkies. Yeah, you're not letting that. You're not letting that go here. No, I'm not. It'll be really good. It'll be good that in London. It's going yeah, to be well, good. Oh, I mean, November's a long way away. Away. I mean, we could be anywhere. You could be. You, you, you could be in Hollywood by November, couldn't you? Well, that's true, yeah, the way things are going. Or I could also be benefiting from that charity. I could have relapsed <laughs> for all the pressure. So, oh, that would be great. I'd like to have known the other Russell, I think. No, 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 no. Not, 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 not that I'm not pleased about knowing you now, but the other Russell, I reckon, was... I reckon he was fun. <laughs> he, he was fun for about... No, he needed an off switch, which he didn't have. Didn't have an off switch, well, no. I'm not, I'm not saying it'd be fun for you, Matt, because you got to look after him, but I reckon I could have dipped in and out of his life. Just and I had a right good laugh with him, I reckon. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Funny to watch from a bit of a distance, I suppose, but, you know. I, yeah, well, I mean, it's just like reading about it from a distance now, really. I mean, you sound like quite fun now with the threesomes and all that, and the cane. <laughs> the threesomes and, and the cane. Stamping, the stamping of the feet and all that malarkey. I can kind of dip in and out of that. I like that. Yeah. OK, yeah. well, you know, so, hey, there's no reason you and I can't remain friends till for the rest of our lives. Let's, let's... You, you rest assured knowing that you're providing me with a slight... But, but actually... It's a good service. I can, I can read it and think, oh, he's off his tits, man. He's great, now. Really? What, you're titillated from a distance, vicariously? I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word titillated because that that kind of conjures up images of something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, do, I do smirk over my Weetabix, though, when I read stuff about canes and lions <laughs> and stuff like that. You know? It's a good, it's a wonderful world I'm living in, Noel. Right, listen, I, we... 
Rebecca and Pixie, I can't just because of your history and charisma that you just chat for hours on end. Oh, I bore the arse off my missus, believe you me. It's just become, this has just become a conversation. I'll ring you up afterwards, and if you're any kind of a man, you'd sort me out of tickets in Germany. So, yeah, so, so, well, I can't actually, I, I get them through uh, my mate Gary from Adidas. OK. Well, so I can't, I can't see, I'm, that, I'm kind of blagging off someone else. But if I had to, I mean, I'm not ticket tart right, but my mate is. OK, well... He could well, probably get you tickets, but you'd have to pay through the nose for him. No problem, I'll pay through the nose. Listen, what are we going to go to? That's Duran, an idiot. Duran. Look, because you've taken up so much time, we're going to Duran Duran now. God knows what opinions that's going to evoke in you. Yeah? The reflex. Uh, it's a reflex, right? Look, I'm out of it. I've seen a bit. Hey, take it easy, Noel. See you later, Noel. Bye. 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 Take it easy. Bye. Listen, listen Bye. to Duran Duran. Take care, mate.